<laughs> and you know, he was such, you know, who could look beyond that you would see the real person that's with him. Because, you know, he'd be a catch for anyone now. But like when you look at him, he kind of turn you off the bush. <laughs> you know, you would definitely stand, stand at the westerly side of him in case a gale would blow him away. Like. Do you know, he was that sort of a weedy kind of a character. And as well as that, he, his eyesight was the best. All lads, aren't you blessed with the lovely glasses he had down here? <laughs> My God, if you saw the glasses that this fella had, they were like the ass of jam crocs. <laughs> <laughs> they were so thick, and you could see yourself reflecting back in them. And now, by God, one thing that wasn't his favour. He was a collagious singer. He was marvellous altogether. And with it was, you know, crooning love songs to her that I suppose like a fungusy kind of grew in her. And one of his love songs that he really loved to sing to her was, um, Maybe I could grow on you, girl. Maybe I could grow on you. Just like the Japanese knotweed. Maybe I could grow on you. <laughs> well, it must have worked. It must have worked because what in the off to the off. And let's now. His headlamps might be working the best. <laughs> but by God, there was nothing wrong with his indicator. <laughs> because a year had to pass and a bouncing set of twins arrived. <laughs> well, my, should they were doing buttons with delight with the set of twins that arrived. And of course, she didn't want our three names. Now, like, you know, like Mary or Nora or Francis or she. Not tough. She didn't have no names like that. She wanted, you know kind of similar, different. It was a boy and a girl. So they called the boy Pete, and the girl repeat. <laughs> <laughs> when another year had been gone, we needed another set of twins <laughs> He wasn't either. A boy and a girl again arrived, so one day were saying they'd keep the names kind of similar, but different, you know. So they thought of it. They'd call the girl Kate. And the boy duplicate. <laughs> <laughs> well, then, see, must be firing in all cylinders because another year hadn't passed and another set of twins. Oh, another boy and a girl, by God, wouldn't they have also? And of course, they were kind of running out in ends. Now they would be similar and different, you know. But the extent, wasn't, wasn't the mother in law over in Germany? <laughs> and then she come home with the name. She said, Katie Kyle called the boy Max and the girl will climax. <laughs> well, it is Max I'm going to tell you about today now. Max became, a, oh my God, Max was a great girl for all together. Do you know now, whatever, whatever, you have a bit of an interest in, they'll teach you how to do it right now. And you know, living below around the stall, of course, Betty Boone and all the other way, of course, they teach you now everything in school how to play golf and everything. And he take it knacky with the golf. Fierce knacky he was out to go, and he was outside the Betty Boone, and he was playing, and he won a few tournaments, and he was travelling away at a few tournaments, and but he was doing right good out to go. And he was up the country playing this big tournament this time, anyway. And, um, and let's, do you know the way the locals would try to put you off? Do you know now when you would be lined up for a swing and they'd be trying to, you know, break your confidence, you say. And he was there and, 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 um, and he had the ball lined up, you say. The next thing running across the ball was this blonde girl with not a flick it on her. Hardly a pair of earrings she was wearing. <laughs> Legs going all the way up, hair coming all the way down, and nothing but her <laughs> And he said, no, Max, he said to himself, boy, they're trying to push you off. The last shot now, you will have to make this good. So he threatened nothing. Down he goes for the other. Next thing to sell out with a white coat came tearing across the green after the lady. He said, they're trying to, trying to put me off, they're trying to put me off. Stand for him now, he said, Max, and say nothing. So, Max, he lined up for another. Well, if he did, 
this other fella came running across the green in a white coat and another fella after him with two buckets of sand and he tearing after him. <laughs> ah, he said, lads, he said, what's going on here? I have to ask you, what's going on here? And your man said, well, he said, it's like this, he said, there's a hospital there at the other side of that hill, he said, and you see the blonde lady, she throws off the clothes every so often and she goes for a, a run and she breaks free and to see the fellows with the white coats, they are running after her to bring her back. Well, he said, I understand that, but he said, what's the fellow doing with the two buckets of sand? <laughs> oh, he said, that's his handicap. He caught her the last two rounds. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 oh.